Hi Boba Addicts, welcome back to Daily Boba Gossip, where we bring you a sip of news and rumors in K-pop. Today we are talking about the future of Blackpink and updates of new jeans. Stay with us to watch till the end of the video and subscribe if you want to support us. The world of K-pop is always full of surprises. Recently, two hot topics have been causing a stir among fans. First up is the news that Blackpink, one of the most popular girl groups in the industry, may be quitting their label, YG Entertainment. Fans are speculating about the reasons behind this potential departure and what it could mean for the group's future. Second on the list is whether the emergence of a new K-pop group, New Jeans, who are already being hailed as the next big thing, is possibly the start of the fifth generation of K-pop. In this video, we'll take a closer look at both of these topics and what they mean for the ever-evolving world of K-pop. Are Blackpink quitting YG? As the members reach the critical seven-year mark, Blackpink, one of the most celebrated girl groups in the world, face the most pivotal decision of their career. The question on everyone's mind is whether the girls will renew their exclusive contracts with YG Entertainment, the company that catapulted them to global fame, or will the allure of other million-dollar deals pull the girls in other directions? Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of this story. Back in 2016, YG Entertainment gave us our first glimpse of Blackpink, a four-member girl group that has taken the world by storm with their fierce girl crush image, intense choreography, and killer fashion. As Blackpink's fame continued to soar, YG Entertainment poured more and more resources into their music and marketing, resulting in some pretty amazing achievements, like becoming the first K-pop girl group ever to grace the Coachella stage, and they're set to headline the festival soon too. As the members face the decision of whether to stay, there are several good reasons why the group could choose to stay with their debut company, outside of the high paycheck YG is reportedly offering each girl. For one, as I mentioned earlier, YG Entertainment has played a massive role in Blackpink's meteoric rise to global fame. A testament to the success of their controversial quality over quantity marketing strategy, YG has established Blackpink as not just one of the most sought-after girl groups worldwide, but as a sort of luxury K-pop group. Thus, despite the reservations that exist, if I was a member of Blackpink, I could find it difficult to say goodbye to the company that has made me a global star, especially as Blackpink has a strong relationship with the agency's founder, Yang Hyun Suk, and the girls have always spoken highly of him in interviews and have credited him with their success online. However, fans of Blackpink have voiced their frustration with YG Entertainment and raised concerns about the group's future, as many fans feel that the company's management style is too controlling and harsh on their artists' health. This is not the first time that YG has faced criticism. In fact, since Blackpink's debut, fans have accused the company of neglecting the creative input of its artists and overworking them, which fans believe contributed to Blackpink's lengthy hiatuses. The recent scandals within YG Entertainment have only heightened fans' worries as in 2019, some of the company's executives were involved in illegal gambling and drug use, which led to the CEO's resignation and a drop in the company's stocks, which led fans to question whether YG is capable of effectively managing Blackpink's career and if their association with the company is putting their future in jeopardy. At the end of the day, deciding whether to stick with YG Entertainment or explore other options is a tough call for Blackpink. On one hand, the company has played a crucial role in its success, but on the other hand, fans have valid concerns about YG's management style and the company's future in K-pop. Regardless of what they ultimately decide, one thing is certain. The members of Blackpink will continue to dominate as some of the biggest stars of our time, with a massive global following that will support them no matter where they go. If you were a member of Blackpink, would you stay with YG? Where do you think Blackpink should sign outside of YG? Are New Jeans fifth gen K-pop? The K-pop industry has seen its fair share of generational shifts, with each wave of groups and artists bringing in fresh concepts, sounds and styles. The last year has been dominated by rookie girl groups with completely new sounds like Lee Seraphim, Aive, and notably New Jeans whose debut has triggered a debate over whether they are the official start of the fifth generation of K-pop. 
Whether or not New Jeans can be considered the first fifth gen K-pop group is kind of a tricky question as it really depends on how you define a K-pop group. Some argue that a new generation is marked by when last gen groups disband or stop being active, when there's a shift in who the IT idols are, or when older idols move on from K-pop. Looking at the disbandment or inactivity of last gen groups, it's definitely true that a lot of the biggest groups from the second and third generations like Big Bang, 2NE1, SNSD, and EXO aren't as popular as they were in their heyday. On the other hand, you had many 2N-3 RD Gen groups like BTS, Blackpink, and TWICE who were at the top of their game when the fourth generation began in 2018. Another thing people point to as a sign of a new generation is a change in who the IT idols are or when older idols move on. However, the current IT idols of the 4th gen, like Yeonjun from TXT and Wonyoung from IVE, are still very popular, and their groups are getting more and more fans all the time. Plus, there are plenty of older idols who are still active and relevant, so it's not super clear that a new gen has started already. On the other hand, the second argument, of whether new genes is the start of the 5th generation, basically says that a new generation has, in fact, already started, and it's characterized by groups and concepts that are totally different in style and musical genre from the previous ones. One of the things that define this new generation is the 2000s retrocore trend that is all over the music, fashion and style of a lot of recent K-pop groups, including New Jeans. Basically, it combines old school and modern elements to create something that really stands out and is totally different from the style of the fourth gen, which was all about strong colors and bold style. Think Itzy, Everglow, or Stray Kids. This 2000s modern nostalgia style is emphasized by the increasing influence of R&B and K-pop that contrasts with the hard EDM and loud pop sounds that characterize the start of the fourth generation. A lot of recent releases have smooth vocals, catchy melodies, and sultry beats that are totally different from the electronic and hip-hop sounds of the past. Lastly, this argument stresses the fresh and innovative concepts of groups like 5050 and Triples, and argues that these groups are totally changing what people expect from a K-pop group. And that's what's setting the tone for this new generation. Basically, the second argument is all about how creativity and innovation are key when it comes to defining a new era of K-pop. Instead of just being about disbandment or changing genres, the second argument argues it's about the new wave of talented artists who are shaking things up in and giving us something different. Looking at the arguments about whether or not New Jeans is the start of the fifth generation of K-pop both make some good points. But at the end of the day, it's all pretty subjective. Some people might say that a generation is defined by the group's debut and concept, while others might focus more on things like the age of the members or how popular the group is. Basically, there's no one right answer. While new genes may not be the clear start of the fifth generation, their debut and the new style is definitely a big deal, as they have quickly become trailblazers and style makers with their viral music. In the end, the debate over whether New Jeans is the start of the fifth generation of K-pop is likely to carry on as K-pop continues to evolve and change over time. All right, that's it for today's Boba Sip. Do you think Blackpink is going to end their contract with YG? Comment down below what you think about it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to us. Your daily Boba Gossip.